What's up, YouTube? Audio monster in the house. Just figured I would show you. This is another how to DJ video. This is how to set up your hot cues. All right. So some controllers have hot cue one and two, which gives you sixteen. This only has eight, so it kind of it tightens up your options a little bit. You have to be a little more precise on what you want to do. There's quite a few ways to set up your hot cues, and this is the standard way. I'll do another video on um, advanced hot cue setup, but this would be your standard, okay? So the way I've set this up is and, and I think if anyone's watched my other videos, the, this is always the first beat. And my reasons for that is that that's how I start my tracks. I actually don't ever hit. Funny thing is, is I don't use these. I'll be honest, even on Pioneer Gear. I haven't used that for many years, even on CDJ-1000s, the first MK1s, they had hot cues, and I would set them up that way. So, um, I never used, I know it sounds funny, but I, I, I literally never hit play or cue here, ever. So, that's the first beat always. That's to start the song. And then... The next ones, these are gonna these are gonna matter upon your song. This one has a vocal so 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 that's for those guys. Now your track is gonna have, you know, different this is just an example. Um, your track is going to have different vocals, but when you have that, Back in the game. um, you could play with it throughout the whole song. If you want, you could even add it into the next song as it's, uh, leading out. You know, you can have, uh, a wash on it and you could go, Back in the game. okay. So it's kind of hard to do without the, <laughs> um, hold on. How can I, I think. Yeah, okay. Stop time. I could do this. So the change the stop time on it and then So see you could add that in. And uh, you hear how it's echoing out. Well, that's wash. That's the wash effect. So you could add that into your next track, you know, and and kind of that's what I call additive mixing, so people don't really know when the mix is changing um, or when a song ends or starts particularly. So let me give you some examples, though. All right, now, say um, the next one is the drop after this. So see you get this drop. That's the bass drop. Now you also this is the the next one is um the second lead in. So So see, these are a little different. And then this is the... Has a little acid behind it. Now there's another one you could do. This is the break. Back in the game. 
so what you use that for though is per se the song let's let's get back to here now this is where the back in the game happens <laughs> See that goes. Here it is. Back in the game. Those are those drops. Those are those drops right there. Back in the game. And then. So you let it play a little. See? And then you could drop it to the next one after that, you know. So that's like a beat jump. So let me explain what just happened there. I used my cue points, which I, I think you all get it though. I used my cue points to jump from this break to this one. And then to this one. Which is the breakdown. So that is this section here. And basically, instead of letting the song play, you could play with the song. So then, you know, I think I've explained it. You got your, your first beat. You've got your three vocals. So, and then you got your two different drops and your breakdown drop. Now the last one is an indicator for the outro. This can change if you're making a set, okay? But I usually put it at about a minute out, so I know when a minute... I know this is the last one here, okay? So... Um, that means once I get to that point, I better start, you know, once it clicks on that point, I better be mixing sometime around there. Unless my song is a quick mixing 30 second, um, intro, and then you could go a little bit longer. So that's this, that's just this. And you see how it's flashing red? That's when you need to mix. So this is your, um how to set up your cue points basic um this this isn't really really basic but it's pretty much your basic one uh, i'll do some more in-depth ones that are for like intense drop mixing and stuff but um yeah this is it you you got it you know you you got eight cue points you 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 gotta kind of have an idea when there's only eight, I know 16 sounds like a lot, but when there's only eight, it, it, it they leave quickly. I'll be honest with you. You're like, oh, wow, they're all done. So, because you could put them at all these break points and stuff just to, like, play the song differently instead of letting the song play the same as everyone else. And that's how you'll be a better DJ. And when people see you jamming out on the keypads, you know, when they... <laughs> Just even doing that, people are impressed by in the middle of the night. I'll be honest with you. Something happens when the show comes on and you're taking chances. They People really respect that. So I'm going to keep this uh, video short and sweet. Please like the video if you think my information was good. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And um, that really helps me, pushes me to do more videos when I see people are paying attention. So, you guys have a great day. Hope you're all staying safe. And um, I have some more information on the Prime 4 that I'll be releasing to you very soon here too. So...
keep updated. Hit that bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you know when I uh, drop a video. Audio Monster, out, guys.